How's it going everybody? This is Travis Platt Reviews and today we're going to be talking about the closing of the local Pittsburgh venue, the Rex Theater, and the future of live music. I do reviews, reactions, lo-fi edits, topic videos, and more. So if you like what you hear, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications. Also be sure to give this video a like and comment below if there's another video that you'd like me to do. Also I've been way more active on Facebook and Instagram lately, so if you want music recommendations or just to see what I'm up to, you can go ahead and follow me on both, it is at Travis Platt Reviews. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. The Rex Theater was a popular concert venue in the south side of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The building originally opened as a vaudeville theater in 1905, and it became a Nickelodeon in 1907, which is a place where you can insert a nickel into a machine and watch a short movie. In the 1930s, it changed its name from the Strand Theater to the New Rex Theater, which closed in 1959 with a screening of Gone with the Wind. The Rex Theater opened as a movie theater again in 1989 and closed once again in 2000. It then reopened as a concert venue and has had numerous national and worldwide artists over the past 11 years, and has become a staple of the Pittsburgh music scene. After the famous Ultra Bar closed in 2016, The Rex, a 600 capacity venue, became home to many mid-sized artists and intimate shows from bigger artists, and that includes anyone from Skrillex to Neck Deep, and many more. The hardcore concert videography group Hate Six filmed a concert series for the local band Code Orange at the Rex Theater in 2017. In 2020, it was announced that the venue would be closing due to the COVID-19 pandemic, as independent venues have been unable to operate since the social distancing protocol. For me personally, the Rex Theater was one of my favorite venues. I attended the venue a total of 16 times over the span of 4 years, and I have seen many notable acts, including Red, Neck Deep, We Came as Romans, Turnover Ice Nine Kills Pop Wage War and many more and the venue has had some of the best acoustics of any venue I've ever been to, and the sound team was always exceeding expectations. The security has always been very friendly, and I never had any issues. I will never forget standing in line alongside East Carson Street, and watching people walk along the sidewalk to get in line for the show, or seeing people take a photo of the sign, stating what artists were playing that evening or my cousin Mike going down the street to buy Hawaiian pizza to taunt everyone in line, as it is a controversial topping. Another great memory is crowd surfing to wage war and nearly hitting my head off of the stage. And the same night, my glasses got busted to the song Stitch. In my opinion, a concert venue is very important to the overall experience of the concert. Have you ever gone to a concert and heard a horrible sound mix where it's impossible to hear the vocals or the bass is way too high and overpowers everything? Or have you gotten yelled at by security for doing something, legal or not? Those things negatively impact concerts for people, and at the Rex, I never had a negative experience. But, if we do not support independent music venues, we may not have an experience at all. Independent music venues are a vital part of the music industry. They give bands or artists an opportunity to travel around the world and play music to their fans, or make new fans. Touring is a primary source of income for many musicians, and most bands or artists are not big enough to play these massive football stadiums. 
so they rely on smaller venues to get their name out there and make money. Many independent venues make little to no money for holding concerts, and instead, they're trying to build a local scene. When I saw Neck Deep at the Rex last year, the support band, Eternal Boy, so much and Lotus Kid, are local to Pittsburgh, and people that may not know who they were have now been exposed to them, and they may buy some merch or listen to them on the ride home. Without independent venues, there is no music scene. For those preaching that we need to be supporting local artists, now's your chance to put your money where your mouth is. The ability to grow as a band will be much more difficult. And bands that are not massive will struggle to survive, and many will most likely dissolve. But what can we do about it? First of all, we need to be donating to artists and venues monetarily. There will be links in the description below on how you can donate. You can also send emails to your state government about giving money to businesses damaged by the COVID-19 pandemic. Pennsylvania has been voting on a bill to give additional money for businesses that cannot physically open due to COVID. And if this passes, it may give the venues more time to figure out a game plan on how to continue moving forward. Second of all, please support local independent artists. Many band members have to pick up additional jobs in order to make ends meet. And that means they have less time to make the music we all love. So please donate to them, buy some merchandise online, share their music. Really, there are endless ways to support musicians and we as fans need to be doing that. It is truly a terrifying time. The music industry is so uncertain right now. Many people are without jobs, venues are closing, bands are breaking up, and the world is in ruin. But one step at a time, we can support those that need it. And when concerts do come back, we can be in the pit together and we can celebrate everyone's hard work. Thanks for watching.